Acupuncture has been praised and condemned, but it's not often been tried before on a scale as wide as today. The operation was performed on nothing less than the entire city of Vancouver. Its goal was to cure all the heroin addicts here. The man wielding the king-sized needle is a visitor from Hollywood who makes a practice out of doing this thing. He makes his living by lecturing about his adventures at universities. It happened in Pigeon Park, a place noted for its flighty characters. Huddled next to a dark doorway was Lowell Darling, who was poking around with a long needle. Lowell Darling is director of the center of all the world's problems in California, and he was here to give our city an acupuncture treatment. He's determined to cure the heroin addicts in Vancouver and wore a hood to hide his identity from drug dealers who may be angry at him. What other places have you done this to? Uh, we've uh, performed urban acupuncture on Los Angeles, Portland, Oregon, uh, Port Costa, California. What, have, what, what good have you done for those places? Well, um, I think we saved Los Angeles from the proposed next Great Depression in 1974. And um, we sedated the sewage uh, problem in uh, Port Costa, California. The co-op radio station serves symbolically as the ears of the city. An acupuncture, a needle in the ears of an addict, cures him. The bicycle gave him the power. This, by the way, is the same man who once sewed up the St. Andrews fault and nailed down Chicago so it wouldn't fall off the planet. Both those operations so far have worked, so who are we to doubt him now? His audience was somewhat limited and at times lacked suitable interest. But we bring you the story just in case you suddenly find things getting better and wonder why. <laughs>